At the eastern edge of the Coral Sea, 100 kilometers north of Vanuatu's capital, Port Vila, a sloping mass of thick green rises from the ocean. Epi Island is home to over 5,000 Ni Vanuatu, dependent on local transport infrastructure to move their crops to market, their sick to the hospital, and to connect to the outside world. However, an increase in rainfall days and extreme weather events is putting that infrastructure under pressure, the roading in particular. Sometimes I can't get through. I'll have to just stop and uh, call some, uh, some boys in the community to come and help to push, to push the truck up the hill. The hill is going down to the sea coast. Is, the place is very bad, and down to Laman Bay, same thing. Agriculture is vital to the local economy, but poor roading conditions hinder the transportation of crops and accelerate mechanical fatigue on the island's few essential vehicles. Sometimes I've been taking 15 to 20 sacks in my truck. The spring of the truck breaks down. It costs a lot of expenses to repair the truck. Uh, it's not really good because sometimes when the big rains and big waters on the road, and the road is rough sometimes. Only some places is good, but not everyone. In the case of medical emergencies, roads cannot be relied upon to deliver those in need of medical care to the island's only hospital. Many times they deliver babies on the roads, carry them to the hospital when there is heavy rain. Yeah, we uh, put the baby on the road, yeah, because the problem of the roads. Sometimes when people are sick, they still carry them to the hospital, you know. They can, uh, they kneel the sack and they carry people. And they dragged him back here in a sling. They got him back here and they, he had an abscess in his tooth and that had impacted and it literally, he had, like, he had full blown blood poisoning. I've never seen anything like it. You couldn't even recognise him, his head was so big. More than likely, if we hadn't gone and got him and we didn't have a car and didn't have a road, he'd be dead. Epi's two airports are an important option for medical evacuations, not just for the residents of Epi, but also for nearby islands in the wider province of Sheffa, dependent on the referral hospital. Whenever the hospital is required to refer patients to Port Vila, they have to use the roads again and the airstrip to do that. But not only can the airports be difficult to access via road, the southwestern end of the runway at the Laman Bay Airport, the airport closest to the referral hospital, is literally falling into the sea. It has eroded right into the alignment of the active runway in the last um, 10 years, there's been 30 metres of um, erosion. In response to this climate-related transport pressure, the Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change project is using EPI as an opportunity to reduce vulnerability and increase resilience to climate change. For Pak Vanuatu, New Zealand-based Klim Systems has been tasked with the collection and analysis of data to inform future steps in the climate proofing of EPI. In EPI, there is going to be, and there already is evidence, that there is a changing climate. Vanuatu has some of the highest sea level rise readings in this part of the Pacific. There is, of course, uh, precipitation changes, but what we have already seen is an increase in extreme events. Precipitation is an important factor to take into account because the road needs to uh, be able to deal with that. And a good example on uh, EPI is the bridge that has collapsed because the amount of water coming under the bridge was way higher than they imagined when it was designed. These climate considerations and subsequent roading design are now in the hands of Pak Vanuatu project coordinator Brian Phillips. So what's going to happen in the next couple of months leading to 2013 when the project is completed is to look at designs of um, the different road infrastructure, coastal infrastructure, and looking at how we can build climate change considerations into the design so that infrastructure on the island can continue to cope with the changes that are projected for Vanuatu and they can continue to facilitate the sustainable development of the island and the country. Results and lessons from EPI will be shared regionally and globally, as will the results from 13 other PAC projects throughout the Pacific. This information will help integrate long-term climate change risks into coastal management, food production and water resource management. By identifying future risks and turning systemic problems into long-term solutions, PAC is helping people adapt to climate change. <laughs>